Thank you. Thank you. Fourth frame. Stephen Maguire to break. queuing there but this is a tricky black a little cut back into a blind pocket it's all about judgment Eight. because you can't see the pocket in your eye line Over any angles. Let me know when Ronnie's in first. 16. Two reds, two blacks. He'll be playing for the black every time. Thank you. 17. Angle in the black this time to try and stun into these reds. <coughs> Twenty-five. Oh, he's gone too far. <coughs> so it'll be a deep screw with right hand side. Our red to the right corner. Just looking to see if he could get on the pink there, so maybe he's going to forget about all blacks. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> 33. Well, that's a bit unlucky. Look where the pink's gone, right next to the blue. 40. and It's an awkward red into the middle pocket. The one he potted at the start of this into the middle pocket was superb. Now it's coming back across. It's coming back Are across, but fourth? not hard enough. So five reds, five blacks. So it's down on 40. players with 11 maximum breaks. One's out on the table there and the other one's sitting right next to me.
mid-session interval coming up after this frame. It is, is it? No. Well, let me see. Running yourself in four. Yep. Well, he did look at the possibility of cutting the red into the left middle pocket, but it was too tough a shot, but slight it. How's that, Stephen? Yeah. Adjustment here, and he should be okay. Slight bit of angle with this red. <laughs> that would be some shot to knock that in and get on the black. So it mustn't be absolutely dead straight. Well, it, it's almost straight, so there's no real value in attempting that. Just the red up next to the brown that's causing the slight problem. And he has covered that red. He's cannoned. The yellow means that Ronnie could cut this red back in. That's next to the brown. The only thing is, he'd have to finish on the black because the pink and the blue are awkward. But there's every chance he could pot this, come twice across the table, and, and drop on the black. And he's playing it with a little bit of stun. Same thing. Slip past the red, and he has one. Okay, okay. No, that was a that was his, the frame shot. You feel nine. There's a bit of pressure on this red, this black here. Leaving all the reds in the open. But I just feel a bit of intensity is left. McGuire since the first frame. Dennis, I know Ronnie made the fluke in the second frame 16. when Steam was on top of the safety, but that look he had Seven. in his eye in the first frame, he's never had that back since. Yeah, good point, yeah. That black that we showed you that wobbled in the pocket, uh, I think. That had one on the older cloth that may not have dropped in with the new cloth. It just makes them 25. slide in. <clears throat> 69 in front. So a couple of pots and you'll have this fourth frame in the bag. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Just over the hour. It's amazing when you think he beat Ricky Walden and Andrew Lahr 
6 0. That's quite incredible. That one doesn't drop. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 40. But. And the frame. He's had enough. There's 84. There's no chance of getting the snookers from that position. So Stephen Maguire set off like a house on fire with a break of 98, but he's lost the last three. The Rocket leads three frames to one.